within the northern cliffs of the Onaran Plains in World of Warcraft's new expansion Dragonflight lies a series of side quests. These are some of the most interesting and exciting quest chains we have had access to in a long time. Let's find out what really happens here and even find a unique interaction that is only available to one race. Stick to the end to hear some speculation on how this fits into the greater story of Warcraft. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'd just like to take a moment to thank everyone for all the support. If you're looking for a place to keep up to date with all the new lore, or just chat about theories in general, I have linked to Discord in the description. But for now, come, take a seat by the fire. Dragonflight is almost upon us, and we can only begin to speculate at the twists and turns that the story holds for us. But that is exactly what we're going to do today. We mentioned in our previous video of Brackenhide Hollow, which is linked in the top right and the description, how there is some potential for a return to the story of the old gods. We still believe this, and we found some evidence in the Dragon Isles that seems to confirm our theories. The first location gives the biggest hint. The Nelthazan Ruins. These ruins belong to the Black Dragonflight in ages past. While its purpose is unknown, it seems from closer inspection it was most likely a library for study or a domicile of some sort. Today, however, the expedition are not the only faction interested in this place. The Sundered Flames are here, and have taken an almost feverish interest in digging the ruins. For a brief reminder, the Sundered Flame are the antagonistic faction of Drakthea that believe all aspects were complicit in Deathwing's betrayal, and want to uncover this truth at any cost. The first point of note is that all the lesser dragonkin in this area have a debuff named the Call. And even more interesting is if you, as the player, come to this area playing a Drakthea, you also get the debuff and a few extra unique events just for you that explain a little more what's going on and hint at something even darker. Before we get into that, it is best to understand the story of what happens during these side quests. You are employed by the Dragonscale Expedition to collect artifacts in the area, and the presence of the Sundered Flame is making everyone nervous. You are to keep an eye on their activities. First, you compete with them for artifacts until that turns into a flat-out brawl. The Sundered Flame must be dealt with, and four of their prominent members have been sighted. They may hold the clues necessary to uncover their interest in this place. And later, you find the evidence that they were sent here to look for a specific artifact. It is important to mention that from the moment you entered the area, a shrill, ringing noise could be heard emanating from a large, imposing tower nearby. While I would play it for you, it has received some real complaints from players, causing actual nausea, so I felt it's best not to include it. Following the trail of this horrific noise leads you to a black stone with a flaming rune carved into it called the Black Locust. Suddenly, it dawns on you. Who has been talking to you? 
Who has been urging you forward? Why were you so compelled to dig? Resisting the urge, you return to the expedition commander. The whispers that I heard are as follows. Hear me and obey. You are mine to command. Disobedience is pain. In the tower, we have much to discuss. Seek me below. The commander notes he has seen this before, this compulsion, for he is a nightborn and his people are well versed in the addictive nature of magic. He explains how the addiction cannot be cured, but may be abated through other, more unpleasant means, and hands you an arcane mana gem. It is noted by the expedition leaders that similar artifacts have shown up in other areas once owned by Deathwing, and that even now his destructive legacy still haunts the world. They talk about how preparations must be made for the day his machinations catch up to us. The locus itself is very interesting and was most likely used by the Black Flight in order to control the Drakthea, should they decide not to follow orders. But if you look a little deeper, something happens to the Whispers towards the end. It is as if they change, from the generic command sent out to the area, to a more personalised message, as if someone recognised the presence of the player. This leads us nicely into our current theory as to the Old God connections on the Dragon Isles. Deathwing was certainly under the influence of the Old Gods, almost from the moment he was changed into an aspect, which was hinted at in the book Dawn of the Aspects. While Nazoth got most of the credit, there were other old gods interested in turning the dragons to the void, as we saw recently with the reveal of Galakron's origins. The mysterious fifth old god could now be finally making its move, but not in the way you might think. Looking back during the end of BFA, we helped to free an ancient being with ties to the Void, and many have considered it an old god itself. That is Zalata. Well, the spirit that resides within the Blade. During our pursuits to stop Nazoth, Zalatas tricked the player and made a deal with Nazoth to free itself and seek its own fate. The consciousness was severed from the blade, and Zalatath noted they expected to see us again. What if the consciousness found its way back to its former body? The once dormant, eldritch being deep beneath the Dragon Isles. Zalatath's origins are not exactly known nor do they 100% fit in with our last theory about how we believed there was an old god imprisoned within the dream. But after much research, we do believe we're getting closer. The old gods are beings beyond comprehension. We don't even know if they can die. It is entirely possible one or all of them could return. What we do know is that even a piece of an old god can manifest sentience over time. We saw this with Ilganoth. With how ancient the blade is, it could possibly be a part of any of the old gods, or its own. So many questions. We understand this was kind of a giant leap. However, 
This is not the only reference that something related to the void is rising to the surface on the isles. If you travel along the coast, beneath the watery depths, shipwrecks are not the only curiosity to be found. We see eyes and tentacles and madness, which usually means only one thing. Small hints like these, along with Blizzard's lore releases lately, reminding us once more of the Black Empire, either through the lore books of Alderman, or through the quest chain with the Bronze Dragonflight when we get to visit the Empire ourselves. It feels very much like the build-up to Nazoth. Although Zalata, while still being devoted to the Void Lords, has seen the mortals do much, and definitely would see some potential in working together. How fun could this be if Odin really does turn on us, as we discussed in the Law Books video recently, and we would temporarily ally with an old god? Now that would be a twist. It seems like the horrors of Deathwing are still with us. What's everyone else's thoughts on what the Black Locust could be? Maybe you don't think it's an old god at all. Tell me about it in the comments. Or the Discord. Come back anytime.